Overall, I could really see, you know, this being used in a lot of the precision uh, rimfire competitions. We've come in at 0.4 of an inch. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Ticker T1X UPR or Ultimate Precision Rifle. Now guys, you may have caught the review that I did on the uh, Ticker T3X UPR. I did that in 6.5 Creedmoor, so you know, if you haven't had a look at that review, please check it out. Okay, so let's show you all clear here. Now uh, obviously this being the uh, T1X UPR, is I guess the um, little brother to the uh, Centerfire version being the T3X UPR. Now we'll give you a run by of it to start with here. And uh, yeah, this one here is in 22LR. You can get them in uh, 1.7 HMR as well. And unfortunately, this is just a personal preference of mine. I wish you could actually get it in 22 Magnum. I do like the 22 Magnum. I'm a bit of a fan of it. Um, over the 1.7 HMR for a few different reasons. And yeah, I would really like to see Ticker starting to chamber their rim fires in uh, 22 Magnum as well. I think that'd be great. Now, overall weight of this, uh, you're looking at about uh, 2.7 kilos or 5.95 pounds, okay? Now the barrel that I've got here is a 51 centimeter or 20 inch um, you know, threaded barrel for 22 LR. Now you can get a optional uh, 40 centimeter or 16 inch barrel, I believe, okay? That is an option. It's threaded uh, here at the front for uh, half by 20 uh, thread. Now there is some talk about it being available in uh, half inch by 28 TPI, which is more of the standard American thread, but this definitely isn't because I've tried to put a uh, muzzle brake on for that American thread and uh, yeah, it doesn't fit, okay? So uh, being a ticker barrel, it's cold hammer forged steel. It's in the matte blue uh, finish here. And the twist rate, I believe, is one in 16 and a half um, for the 22 LR. So very interesting to see how this will shoot. Now the stock on it, this is um, just like the Centerfire stock, okay? The UPR stock is basically a lightweight tactical precision style stock. Okay, we've got this uh, vertical uh, grip angle here, which I actually really like. It feels really good in the hand, honestly, it does. We've got these uh, QD attachments on the other side, okay? So, you know, if you're using this in a um, rimfire precision match, where you can get a um, QD sling and, you know, attach it on that opposite side if you want to sling it over your back or, or however you want to do it, the option is there. Now, at the front here, I've put my uh, Harris bipod on one of the sling attachments, we've got uh, two sling attachments at the front there. And then obviously at the rear, we've got another one there. We've got the same nice generous rubber kick pad there, not that you need it for a rim fire, but it's the same as the center fire um, UPR. And we've got the adjustable um, cheek piece there for the height. So just unscrew uh, here and you can lift it up, tighten it back in, you know, to whatever your preference is there and line it up so you've got that really nice uh, side alignment with your optic. So we've got a rough uh, finish on the uh, UPR stock, just like the Centerfire version, exactly the same there. Now, um, you know, it is uh, basically a new design uh, from Ticker, and I do quite rate it. As I said, you know, when I was um, using this in the Centerfire 6.5 Creedmoor, um, you know, I did really like the stock, and it's exactly the same in the Rimfire here. It feels identical up to the shoulder. Now the uh, mag release just in front of the magazine there, it's a polymer 10 round magazine. Uh, doesn't matter whether it's 22LR or 17 HMR, comes with a 10 round magazine as standard. Now the trigger on it is a single stage trigger, um, breaks nicely at three pounds, so you know I'm very happy with that. Now the bolt, ridiculously short throw here, 45 degrees um, I believe. So um, yeah, really <laughs> quick to uh, cycle. And we've got the standard two um, position safety there. So just pull back, 
locks the bolt, you can't fire, push forward and naturally um, you can fire from there. The action is very smooth being a typical ticker. On top here uh, we've actually put a uh, ticker uh, Picatinny uh, rail and uh, this one here is a loan from a friend's private license so you know on top he's got here the uh, Burris XDR signature rings and also the Burris uh, RT25 so the 5 to 25 by 56 optic. Now guys as I said in the uh, centerfire review me personally um, you know I wouldn't be putting a Chinese made scope um, you know on a precision rifle that, that's just me personally so each to their own there. Now rifle obviously is made in Finland uh, price here in Australia you're looking at around about $1900 approximately okay so um, you know not ultra cheap but it's certainly not up there in the uh, Anschutz um, high end range or price range there. Now uh, this does come with an MOA guarantee. Now they don't say the, the, the shot guarantee, they just say MOA guarantee. Um, so I'm not too sure if you, if you know if it's five shots or 10 shots or whatever it is, uh, you know, in the rimfire version guys, please feel free to comment below. So anyhow, let's get out on the farm now guys. I'm really keen to put some rounds down range and show you what this uh, UPR rimfire model is made of. All right, so let's show you the lineup of ammo we've got to run through the uh, ticker, guys. First of all, we'll start off with the Seller and Bellet uh, Club, which is a uh, just standard velocity, you know, target ammunition, 40 grain. Then we've got the uh, Seller and Bellet uh, High Velocity Hollow Points. Now these are a 38 grain uh, high velocity uh, hollow point, just for a bit of fun, something a little bit different. Normally it's just going to be all match, but I thought, well, I'll just throw one high velocity round in there and see how that goes. Then we've got the time tested CCI standards. A lot of people love these, so we'll see how that goes. Then we've got the SK rifle match. And then last of all, we got uh, Ely match. So, you know, we've got some very budget ammo right through to very expensive ammo. So um, what we'll do is we've got a target there at, um, 50 yards, so we're going to fire 10 shot groups uh, with the 22 and really test the accuracy of this UPR rifle. So once we do that, um, if there's a couple of winners there, I'll take it out to 100. We'll fire a 10 shot group there as well and see how that goes. Okay, so we start off with the Seller and Bellet Club. Now, yeah, I was expecting a lot more out of that, uh, 1.1 inches. Then we went down to the uh, Seller and Bellet High Velocity, and that was a bit better. We've come in at 0.7 of an inch. Then we go to CCI Standard. Now, they started off really well, but then we got a bit of spread there, so... About the same, I'd say, 
0.7 of an inch. Then we come up to uh, SK rifle match. Yeah, we're starting to get serious now. We've come in at 0.4 of an inch. And then down to um, Ely match. A little bit better, just a finer 0.4 of an inch group. So honestly, guys, I think uh, probably my preference would be the SK rifle match because it's a lot cheaper than uh, Ely match. And look at it, we've pretty much got the same uh, result there. Okay, so the breeze coming up and down certainly affected a little bit more at 100, guys. SK rifle match, we've blown that out to 2.4 inches, but we've got seven shots into an inch, which is pretty good going. Then we come over to the uh, Ely match. I mean, wow, we've had a couple of flyers there, but it's still managed to keep it all within... 1.2 inches there and we've got seven shots into 0.6 of an inch there so look pretty good going and uh, you know it starts uh, becoming a little bit more challenging at 100 with the 22 but overall I'm really happy with the accuracy from this rifle. Loading of the magazine very straightforward very easy and I haven't had any jams. There's been no misfeeds or failure to feeds or failure to you know extract or eject, nothing like that. I haven't had any problems with the rifle at all. So yeah, overall, very reliable magazine. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the Ticker T1X UPR rifle. Uh, a lot of things I like about this rifle, I can assure you. Um, overall, look of the rifle is just fantastic. You know, it really uh, reminds me a lot, you know, and I've mentioned this before, of uh, the original Seiko uh, TRG stock. You know, it's just very similar uh, feel to that, if you're familiar with it. Overall, I could really see, you know, this being used in a lot of the precision uh, rimfire competitions, uh, you know, especially the uh, PRS style ones where you're running around going from barricade to barricade and just having a bit of fun. Why I say it in particular is even with the mag here, like when you're doing a quick change, like you, you virtually just grab the bottom of the mag and then with your pointer finger, just you find that mag release so easy. So, you know, you don't even have to look at it and you can just feel it every time. And that's something that I noticed when I was using this rifle throughout the review. Very, very good for that. Um, you know, like my Anschutz uh, 1710, I know it's an older design compared to their new 1761, for example. But, you know, with that, a lot of people who are wanting to use them in, uh, you know, the more action style um, PRS type competitions, you know, really had to buy a uh, magazine extension, you know, be, to find that mag release and be able to change the mags quickly. Where obviously with this, they've thought about things like that. And uh, yeah, it just works a treat. I really like the uh, feel of the stock in general, as I say, uh, the accuracy of the rifle. Well, you know, look, 10 shots into uh, 0.4 of an inch there at 50. Like what more do you honestly want? I mean, look, I'm not a bench rest uh, shooter by any means. Um, 
you know, if I can achieve that accuracy, there's no reason why, you know, you shouldn't be able to do the same with the right ammo and obviously good conditions. Although we had a few gusts of wind, which uh, threw us off there a little bit, especially out at 100. But in general, you can see what this rifle is capable of, you know. So, yeah, very, very happy with it. Um, the only thing that I would probably suggest that I would like to see on this is uh, like its centerfire brother, I'd like to see the more tactical bolt knob like the uh, Centerfire uh, UPR. Honestly, I think um, that would just finish it off, um, you know, perfectly. Apart from that, guys, honestly, I, I really can't fault it. There's nothing that I've, uh, you know, found that I really dislike about the rifle throughout the whole review, other than, you know, if we could um, have that tactical bolt knob uh, as standard, that'd be just fantastic. So, yeah. All right, we'll leave the review at that, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching it. So, till next time, we'll catch you then.